So today we're going to show you how to get live baits, um, all different species of baits, um, and also show you ways to keep those baits and items you'll need to help you out uh, getting a few baits and getting that fish of a lifetime. Okay, so today what we've got is you'll need a handy cast net. Uh, they come in all different shapes and sizes. Uh, you can get drawstring, bottom pocket, top pocket. Um, they all work quite well for different uh, areas and operations when you're using them. Um, this is just a standard bottom cast net, so we'll go and show you how to use that, and then we'll show you how to use um, drawstring cast nets and so on through the series. Now, um, as well, you'll need uh, a handy little bucket to carry or keep your live baits in. This is just a little uh, nice handy little bucket with uh, vents in it. It's got a top latch lid, lockdown lid. You can put an air aerator in it with a stone. So your little aerators, handy aerators like that, they clip on the side. Your stone goes into your bait bucket and then I use what they call a, like I said, a call stone. It throws out more um, bubbles, so it gives you more oxygen in your bucket. And uh, as well as you can use something like this bucket here, which has got a lot, nice little carry handle on it, which you can hang over the side or uh, just fill your uh, baits up in your bucket and uh, put an aerator in that as well. So uh, there's just a couple of items that you'll need to uh, get you out in the water and get you that fish of a lifetime. So this is what they call a drawstring cast net. They have strings that run down the center of the net, which pull the bottom of the net in. Uh, they're great for off piers, boat ramps, uh, like out of boats. They're a uh, good all-rounder for uh, no pockets in the bottom. Like I said, it's just one big sock that pulls up the leads up through the center of the net and keeps all your, all your fish in the, in the net. So we're gonna have a go and see if we can get a few herring. So as the net enters the water like that, all you do is just pull the net and it pulls the bottom of the net up, closes the net up so that everything gets caught in the bottom of the net. So that's how a drawstring cast net works. These are awesome herring. Great bait for like your, I'll leave them, I'll quickly put them back in the water. Perfect bait for like your barramundi, mangrove jack, finger mark, king salmon, things like that. Um, but fantastic, even offshore bait. If you're chasing coral trout, nanny guy, fresh herring, hard to beat. So when you're casting out of a boat, what you need to do is um, the person on the net will tell the guy at the back when he's going to cast or give him a nod. And then once you throw that net and it hits the water, he needs to then back up, just uh, slowly back up to take the weight of the net. So what that does, it closes the net up, doesn't create a funnel, and that way the fish that are in the net get caught in the bottom of the pocket. So I'll give you an idea on how it's done. Righty all. Right. Now so he's taking the slack up. He's taking the, the drag of the net, so as the net starts becoming tight like that, then he stops, puts a neutral, then I just drag the boat slowly to the net, and then as, as well as what I try to do is use the, the, net to shut the, net, uh, the boat to shut the net down as well by dragging it over and it'll, it'll close the bottom of the net, and then that way you'll get all your fish will land in your pocket. They're all stacked up in the little pockets here and they're uh, 
waiting to push in with the tide. There's a sandbar behind us going to try and get over the sandbar and get to that next hole. So you'll see a lot of whiting, uh, big mullet. They'll just sit in these dark little holes here. There's some here. Here they come towards you, Steve, behind you. Okay. Now perfect barramundi baits for under the bridges, mangrove jack, mangrove jack will take a big white knot that as well, so don't be scared of a big tenno in his back and get into a few mangrove jack and barramundi. Amazing eh? Easier than sitting there for an hour, eh? <laughs> now that's just a couple of casts in the net, chasing big live whiten, uh, to chase a few barramundi and mangrove jack. And don't be scared, like I said, king salmon and jacks will eat a big whiten like that, not a problem at all. Mm -hmm.